It's your boy Indian Guru in the house, back with another bang on video. Yes, we got another transfer news and of course, daily Arsenal news video. So stay tuned and we've got some really juicy updates that you guys can definitely relish on. So without any further ado, if you're seeking daily Arsenal content, this is the best place to be. And of course, stay tuned for more as we come up with daily. Tomorrow we're going to talk about the whole thing. But we got a big surprise today. Two big surprises and of course, two big transfer news news as well so straight away we just start don't waste any more time now arsenal have been slammed by joe cole for allowing olivier Giroud to leave arsenal uh well okay fine so he says the whole structure at arsenal at the moment is completely wrong whoever allowed Giroud the chance to leave to go to chelsea is unbelievable the problem lies above arteta it easier for them it's easier for them uh, people to say we are doing the right thing. Let's get rid of Arteta and bring a new manager in. When was the last time Arsenal signed a bulk of players that everyone said, that makes sense? Instead, they have signed 33-year-old David Luiz. Willian has come through the door at 32 and has been handed a three-year contract. Cedric came in from Southampton but has not played Champions League football over the last seven years. Now, Arteta is a young manager with a massive job on his hands. He was given the job after being an assistant at one of the world's biggest clubs. You have to accept he is learning on the job. He's clearly talented as a manager. I don't think all the players which have come through the door have been his signings. He likes to work with younger players, which he can be molded into his style. So let's see what happens. However, only one fixture in the Premier League history has seen more goals than the North London Derby, and that is Arsenal versus Liverpool. Yes. 166 goals, of course. Arsenal versus Liverpool has always been a high scoring contest, but number two on that list is Arsenal versus Spurs, tied up with Arsenal Everton, Everton United, Everton, uh, sorry, Liverpool Newcastle, and Liverpool Spurs. That is exciting because the top two highest scoring fixtures involves Arsenal. That's cool. However, Arsenal's attacking goals in this season are 17th rank, 10 goals. That is next level, man. And in terms of these things, so you can see that sad bombs, uh, that is really unfreaking believable. So, that's the first stat is uh, fewest goals scored and fewest shots per game. You can see Arsenal at 9.5 at 15th rank and 10 goals only with 17th rank. It is not one of the ideal things. However, uh, FIFA boss Gianni Infantino has thrown his weight behind Arsene Wenger's planned reform of offside laws. He says, the offside rule has evolved over the last hundred years. Arsene and our head of refereeing, Per Luigi Colina, are debating if they can make it better and foster offensive football. The question is whether we should give more advantage to the attacking player, which is always how the rule has evolved. That would mean no more marginal offsides as we are seeing with VAR because the player would really have to be in front of the defender. I know that attackers and midfielders are very favorable to this, while goalkeepers and defenders have more worries. Uh, uh, we have, we will be dealing with this later this month. So let's see how they will be coming up with these. Is there going to be a proper change in that offside rule? We will see. Of course, Arsenal fans have to suffer the consequences of Tottenham being the favourites in this North London derby, according to Nigel Winterburn. Now, Nigel Winterburn says, uh, as an Arsenal man, I've never looked back Tottenham. I never backed Tottenham to win the league because I never want that to happen. But they have certainly made huge strides in recent seasons. Arsenal were so far ahead of Spurs for a long time, but the gap started to close under Mauricio Pochettino and is continuing under Jose Mourinho. All the Arsenal supporters who I talk to obviously don't like that. But the saving grace is that no trophies are being won by Spurs right now. If that happened, it would be a nightmare. However, Somebody celebrated in empty stands the derby. Hertha Berlin won the derby yesterday. And Matteo Ganduzzi and the players celebrated with empty stadium, with empty empty seats. So they, 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 they actually tried to, you know, celebrate because they won the derby. So it was a big night for, for them. Hats off, Matteo. And talking about different stuff, Tottenham have a real belief that they can beat Arsenal in the Premier League, according to Spurs, ex-Spurs midfielder Darren Anderton. Now he says it might be not it not it might not be quite as entertaining at times, but there's now a sense that we are a better team and we are a team that can challenge for the title. A year into Mourinho taking over, that's the point we are at. There's a real belief in this side that they can win the league, and a lot of that comes from the manager. However, Jose Mourinho has given his way weight on Sergio Regulon whether he will be fit against Arsenal. He says, I believe so. 
he had a little problem he was not available it was uh, uh not like i wanted to protect him he had a problem but it's a kind of problem that i can say i can expect him to play and talking about jose mourinho arteta says he is someone i think uh, we we'll talk about it later then talking about emil smith rowe today's training image he shared it and arsenal arsenal shared it and he retweeted that and of course emil smith rowe is ready and so is gabriel martinelli yes gabriel martinelli is fit is fit fully match fit will come to see but yes will come to know but he is definitely being a part of the training and also there is also one more man who is passed who is given the green light thomas parte thomas parte is ready for the north london derby and he's been given the green light i think he trained i don't have a, a official information about his training whether he is going to be a part of the north london derby or not but yeah thomas parte is has given has been given clean sheet now for his fitness so he might play be playing in the north london derby tomorrow let's see however obamiang has won 17 out of 35 aerial duels this season in all competitions very well however paul merson has literally uh laid into pm rick obamiang and william ahead of the north london derby he says i don't see how my old club can beat tottenham this weekend they are too predictable and getting nothing from their stars William has not got going at all and is having a real nightmare and Aubameyang has been atrocious what does he bring to the party absolutely nothing at the moment you need big performances from your big players when things are not going well arsenal aren't getting that that's a dangerous thing has Aubameyang relaxed too much after signing his contract only he can answer that but he's not earning his money however arsenal target ex arsenal player Younes Musa has signed a new 6 year contract with Valencia now Musa was once also on Arsenal's books but it has been reported that uh, that the 18 year old has signed a new deal with a release clause of 90 90 million pounds oh my god this is next level man Younes Musa Arsenal not getting you ever is it but however Gilberto Silva has praised Mohamed El Neni and he believes that Mo El Neni is underrated He says Elneny was on the bench but for me despite the fact that not many people give him credit I still believe that he's got the ability to be part of the team to be a bit of stability he works simple and effectively don't expect him to be in the spotlight he is a player who makes others play you know he's there in front of the defenders playing simple nice and effective well talking about more stuff Jose Mourinho has given his uh, has given his opinion about the North London derby he says um it's it means more when we are not in the position we are now because we are in uh, such a good position it's a little bit different we want the points and we are not just thinking we want to beat arsenal because to beat them is the only good thing we can give our fans it happened when we played arsenal in the last part of the season it was just about winning against them to give us something to have a good feeling but in this moment we also look at the table and we are in a good position fighting in the top part of the league but of course we never forget that they are there are historical rivalries and what it means for supporters however jamie redknapp has some uh, uh, words for mikel arteta he says i think what it uh, has shown us that maybe we were fooled because when arteta first took over he managed to get the real tune out of this team we were like it must be the other manager's fault this is actually a good squad and the players that are playing are better than what they've shown under previous managers but actually maybe the truth is that they aren't actually that good and the squad is not that good we all know that bro however liverpool and arsenal are look to are looking to battle it out for west besuma yes according to book makers book bakers paddy par they believe that arsenal and liverpool are fighting it out now transfer guru alex crook says Bissouma is a player Arteta is a big fan of. I know Arsenal are by no means the only big six club keeping tabs on him. Jurgen Klopp is also monitoring his situation. He is looking for a replacement for the out of contract Gini Wijnaldum. Now this brings us to none other than Emiliano Buendia. And Buendia, a Norwich manager Daniel Farker I was asked about Arsenal's interest in Emi Buendia. He says, "No comment from our side. I had this for three months. I will probably have to speak every day in January about these things. So I am not going to add to speculation in this period. Now it looks like uh, Norwich City want at least twenty-five million pounds for the Argentine mid fielder. And this is the stats of Emiliano Buendia compared to Hossem Awar. You can see every every state." 
uh, it looks like uh, the central or defensive midfield as a uh, uh, percentile ranks versus the top five central uh, league central or defensive midfielders. Uh, it looks like uh, you know um, Emiliano Buendia is is trying to overpower Hossam Awar in a lot of departments. Let's see if that is going to be happening or not. So these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way, all the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes on this platform every single day, twice. So sit back, relax and enjoy all the news that comes on this platform. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to join in. We have a live tomorrow. Send in your predicted 11 uh, as a DM, the images of which by using createformation.com. Send it to me on my Twitter or Instagram. The links of which are in the description. And tomorrow we have a watch along. Arsenal versus Tottenham. Stay tuned for more and I will see you in the next one.